Welcome to Running With Scissors, where you'll learn a few hair tips and tricks and hear heartfelt and comical stories from behind the chair. Hi, welcome. I'm Jordan. And I'm Megan. And... Episode 11. I thought we were going to say, I thought our thing was, and here we are. Oh, well, Or whatever it is. No, it. I forgot. No, it's fine. We honestly and need to And here think, we are. And here we are. Another episode. (laughs) Um, Yeah, no, I honestly have been thinking like we need to, maybe we need to find something more fun to say. Something more exciting other than hi, welcome, I'm Jordan. Right. Yeah, that feels like a good idea. Hmm. We'll think of something. Yeah. We'll think of something. Maybe something something more awkward. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward feels right. For sure. Well, here we are. There it is. <laughs> I still did yeah, it. Yeah, you did. Damn it. It just feels like you have to say it to start the whole episode. Right. Yeah, everything's mm-hmm. fine. I like it. Well, are you running with scissors? Because I'm yeah, feeling it. For sure. I'm feeling it. Do you want me to just start off? Sure. Yeah. So, um, listener, I decided to become the... Or take the position of assistant cheer coach for my daughter's team. And as I immediately regretted it the moment I said it, um, it hasn't been too bad. But it's been busy. Mm -hmm. And I love the cheer coach and I love the team mom but like they we're in a group message and I can't keep up group me is really hard to keep up with yes and this isn't even group me this is just a text group conversation and I mean I'm terrible about keeping up with group conversations anyways I, I think you are too I think we're just most people are just bad um but like I got to keep up, right? Because I'm the assistant coach, so I'm trying to keep up. And it just feels like I'm running with scissors. Like, I just feel like, okay, well, I run a business. I We do a podcast. And now I'm assistant coach. Like, what else? Just find another hat for me to wear, you know? Well, now our kids are back in school. Yeah. And so there's another thing that we have to, like, answer to and keep up with. Yep. It makes me a little Spirit bit Spirit weeks and days. And right, and the 87 t-shirts that uh-huh. they force you into buying because if your kid's the only kid that doesn't have it, then how dare you? Right. So. Right. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. And speaking of school, another thing that's making me crazy is this drop-off line and pick-up line. Oh, I'm like, the all worst. these little kids that ride the fucking bus need to start riding that fucking bus today because I am exhausted. Well, you know, I feel like it's always worse the first few days of start to school because everybody is taking their kid to school. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All those little bus riders oh. need to start riding that yeah, bus. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. Yeah. And not to mention, like, the bus riders' parents don't know how to do the drop off line. Right. So then that's a whole clusterfuck. Well, nor do people know how to follow directions. Right. I straight up passed 15 cars in the wrong lane because nobody would go in one of the lanes in the drop-off line. They all were waiting on one. And I'm like, you know you all can, like, switch lanes in the drop-off lane, but now the lane is all the way backed up to Reno. Mm -hmm. That's how. that The whole, it's all backed up to the light back there, which is a mile because I'm at the other light. Yeah. I'm crazy. Like, yeah, I'm like, what well, was just dumb? Just well, is it dumb. is that road two that her school's on? Is it a two lane road? Huh? Yeah. But they're doing construction on it right of now. Of course. Yes. So it's just a giant clusterfuck. Just giant. Yeah. And and I literally passed 15 cars in the wrong lane, going driving, me go driving in the wrong lane. Because I'm like, I'm not sitting all the way back here watching none of you follow any directions. Yeah. So Or you always have like that one car that comes out of nowhere thinking that they're just gonna cut in line. 
And that's what I did, though. Oh. But at the same, but at the same time, they were all waiting on one lane, and this lane was almost empty. Like it was losing cars. Oh, so like it was, it was, and this is the lane I, I wanted to be saying. in. Okay, because if you get in this lane, you exit the school going the left lane, uh, going left. If you get in this lane, but nobody thought that you could get into the lanes to die the traffic down on the main roads and then switch in the lane. We literally have like a whole fucking situation before we even get up to the kids. So like you can switch lanes. Right. So I did. I, so all these people, there were 15 cars in front of me. I counted and all 15 were trying to get, uh (laughs) all 15 were trying to get in this one lane. So I'm like, I'm not going to sit behind all these dumb motherfuckers who can't get into the other lane for a moment. Yeah. So I did. I cut in front of all of them, but nobody was even this lane that was coming this way into wouldn't get into that lane either. They were all waiting on one lane. So I did. I cut everyone. Okay, but I don't think any of them were mad because none of them wanted it. So or maybe knew what was even going on. Right. I think I started a trend the moment this happened because then it just started filling up behind me. Oh, okay. So, and then those other fuckers are just doing what chilling over there. Yeah. Waiting on that one lane. (laughs) I, like, couldn't even believe it. I was like, what are we doing? I'm watching. Like, literally five cars could have fit in that lane. So that's why I waited. Because I'm like, maybe maybe other people will start realizing it's getting low on that end. Nope. Finally, after about ten minutes, I was like, nope, we're just going to go get in that lane. Mm -hmm. So. It's just a giant clusterfuck. Yeah. But you can take your daughters in, right? Just this week. Okay. We don't even get to do that. Like, we don't get to walk our kids into school on the first day. That's what Rylan said. So they started school today. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Elliot's starting pre-K. Oh, yes. And she was like, basically, he has to get out at the curb, too. Like, he can't get, like, I'm like, there is no way in hell. I've never been able to walk her into school on the first day. I have never done it. Not even in pre-K? Nope. But the door to pre-K, like, they let them enter through the— That's right. So, like, like it's right doors. there. Oh, yeah. So, basically, I can walk her up to that door, and that's the entrance to her room. Yeah. So, but nope. I, yeah, I'm not even See, in kindergarten. ours come out of their room doors at, like, pickup. Uh, Pre-K does. Yes. But, like, when she does get dropped off at the curb with Tinley, like, she's going to have to walk through the front school. Thankfully, Tinley— or Tegan's classroom is on the way to Tinley's, Tinley's class. So Tinley can just drop oh, her and then go. Oh, yeah. oh, and I bet she is a good big sister and just yeah. drops her off. Well, we haven't done it yet, you know, because oh, yeah. we've walked her in too. But still, she's yeah. learning now what she's got to do. Right. Yep. And I'm Absolutely. sure she'll take this position very seriously. Yep. She definitely oh. will. Anyways, but yeah, like I can't imagine – which I need to like follow up and ask how it went, you know, just booting him out the door. I mean, that's basically what I did. Yeah. I mean, I've never. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't get to watch your, walk your damn kid in the school. Man. You just kick him out. Bye. Hope you have a great day. <laughs> Hope you know where you're going. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I don't know. She's never had an issue with it. So. Well, and maybe that's better. Maybe that's what I should have done is just let them walk in themselves and then I wouldn't have that issue with Tegan. Well, I did talk to my mom about that this morning, actually, because Reagan cried. I'm just blasting her on a podcast, but Reagan cried every day of second grade. Oh. And my mom could walk her all the way to the classroom. And so finally she thought, well, I think like every day she could walk my sister to the classroom because this was back in the 90s. So, you know, you could walk your kid all the way to their classroom every day. And so my mom finally was like, I can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So maybe, I mean, once, you know. Yeah. Next week comes. Yeah. No, I mean, she doesn't have a choice then. She has to walk herself in. right. That's what I'm saying. Like by next week, maybe it won't be an issue because she's like, oh. Yeah, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. That's my running with scissors, though. I fucking cried every day. (laughs) I was like, 
aren't you used to school by now? Like, I don't understand. You've been in school for three years. I mean, I get it. Like for pre-K or if you don't do pre-K and you go to kindergarten, like I understand. Like those are big feelings. You're going, it's scary and new and whatnot. It's seven. Right. Mm -hmm. So. No, I mean, we just moved from it. I forgot that it was the year that we moved from Pennsylvania to Winona Lake, Indiana. and so, So it was a new school. Yes. So makes that makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. But I was, I was dying laughing about it because I, I was asking mom, I was like, what, what year was it that Reagan cried every day? And she was like, second grade. And I was like, second grade? Who the fuck cries every right. day? Second grade. <laughs> anyway, oh, man. Because like, I w- it would make sense if she cried every year at that point, right? Sure. Not, not just been fine all the years Right. And then prior. second grade. All right. I thought I was done already. <laughs> It's Anyways. like in, it's like in a, uh, oh gosh, is it the last Toy Story? I don't know, Toy Story three or four. Whenever the spork, Sporky comes in. Oh, yeah. You know, and at the beginning, she goes to pre K, that's where she makes Sporky or yes. whatever his name is. That, is that, is it Sporky? I, Spork? I don't know. I think it is. I feel like is it is it Sporky? Forky. 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 I think it's Sporky. Okay. okay. Anyways, where the little Thank girl you Bridget, for the help. Yes. Where the little girl goes to pre-K or whatever makes Forky and then like she is excited to see her parents afterwards and she's like, "I did it. I finished pre-K yes. or whatever." And they're like, "Oh no, like <laughs> it's every day right. For you a have while. you have a lot more to go, you know?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> So maybe that's right. what Reagan maybe, did. She thought she was done. Yeah, she was like, oh, JK, I decided I didn't want to go right. anymore. So yes. like, Yeah, I made fun of her a lot for that. But as the older sister, I feel like that's fairly natural for yeah. that to happen. Um, I don't know that I made fun of her for it. Let me be clear. I don't know that I made fun of her for it at the time. Sure. I But I Later I do, in life. Yeah, and I obviously am still giggling about it, so. Anyways, she like you get mad at her and you're like, well, you pussy. You you cried every day in second grade. Yeah. (laughs) The best part is she begged to be homeschooled. Of course. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. In second grade? Uh, In second grade. Yeah. She didn't want to go. She wanted to stay home with mom. My mom was like, fuck no. (laughs) Right. You're going to school whether you like it or not. They're going to kill me for telling this story because I don't know that that's exactly how it happened. Well, but either way. everybody has their own perspective of it. Yeah, I thought it's I and like I'm my open, version better. Yeah, anyway. and I'm open to hear the, the other two versions, yeah, you know? Yeah, Because Can't I'm sure that even your mom has a different perspective than Reagan does. Oh, yeah. 100%. I'm sure they do. Yeah. I don't know it, but I'm sure they do. Yeah. Anyways, now that we totally derailed the train here. It's fine. Um, Choo-choo. Tell me... About your running with scissors. Well, yeah, just, I mean, back to school, you know? Yeah. All the back to school. Yeah, but why don't you tell everybody, like, that your youngest is... Yeah, my baby went to school for the first time, and it was all the feelings. And I feel like even leading up to those feelings of, I mean, I'm sure every mom feels this way about all their children, but putting them in school just brings on a whole nother level of fear Mm -hmm. and, you know, like fear of, are they sitting alone at lunch today? Mm -hmm. Are, are they being kind? Are they, I mean, active shooters, you know, like there are so many levels of fear putting them into school. I'm never going to homeschool my children. No, never. Mm -mm. Bless all the teachers. Yeah. And bless all the moms that do homeschool. Yes. Oh, that wow. too. 100%. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like, okay, well, I I don't know. It just brings on a whole nother le- level of fear. So even well, like the week leading up to school, you know, you have all these feelings of, well, damn, summer's over, which I'm honestly kind of sad about. Yeah. I'm a little and sad then, about it too. Um, yeah, like... Your baby going, oh, like, you know, yeah. your baby's going away and, you know, they just grow up so fast. Yeah, they do. So. Sweet baby girl. Yeah. But she's good. Everybody had a good first day. Yeah. You've had a good first day. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She did. She wore shorts on her first day. Oh, yes, school, that's right. Which is. But she wore a skirt the second day, right? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I was going to say that and video you sent. She wore some god-awful 
Las Vegas shirt that I think my mom or my mima got her. Okay. Or just some god awful shirt that just looked hokey as fuck. Anyways, she rocked it. She, she tucked out it her into that outfit. skirt. Oh, she tucked it hard. Uh, that kid likes the weirdest things. Like she, she even tucked her shirt into them jean shorts so aggressively the yeah. first day. It's like I literally asked her, "Why are we like? Why do you want to tuck it?" Right. I just like the way it feels. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I mean, I get it. I like to be tucked in too, you know. <laughs> this mom gut, you know, that we talk about. Yes. Just, yeah, tuck that shit right in. Yeah. Just tuck it in as tight as you can. Hold everything together, yes. you know. No, oh, yeah, anyways. But yes, she did have a great first day. Good. Um, I just thought, too, on the topic of back to school, I almost made a Facebook post about it and I didn't. And I was, and then it's still like heart, like, or big on like my heart. And so I was like, I'll talk about it on the podcast. So I hardly ever listen to the radio, but the other morning my phone didn't charge at night. So like, I can't listen to the radio or to my phone on the way to work. Cause my phone's dead. I mean, it had like 2%. Either but we way. needed to keep some juice. Yeah. Either way. And my, um, my plug-in, like I was in Sarah's car, so I didn't have my plug-in. Oh, so, yes. you know, mm-hmm. for the listener that's like, you know, why didn't you have why the, the charger, you know? You just plug your goddamn right. phone in. Jesus. Didn't have it. <laughs> so I'm listening to the radio. And I think it's, I think it's Joey and Heather. I think that's what I was listening to. And they had a caller and it was more schools. And I don't even care if the, I hope this dad hears me because I need him to hear my perspective on it. So anyways, he, so the dad calls in, like more had started school and it was like, call in about your kids first day or something. I don't, I don't really know. I kind of picked up on it. Yeah. At the middle of why this guy's calling in. Anyways, this dad calls in. He's like, yeah, my son was starting second grade and, you know, he was trying to cry about it or, you know, was, you know, super emotional about it. Yada, yada, yada. And did I say his son? Yeah, you did. Okay, and in second grade. Mm-hmm. And so this dad is like really proud on the radio, like extremely proud. I told him, you're grown, toughen up, boys don't cry. Like, you know, oh my God. Oh, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Like, and I, and I might not have his exact words, right. but this is how it came out. Yeah. And s- so on that subject of like, we're talking about a seven, eight-year-old little boy, oh. a child who does have big feelings yes. and is, it is okay. I don't care what gender or sex you are, or what you identify as. We all have feelings. Yeah. We all have emotions and it's okay to cry and crying doesn't make you weak. And truthfully, if I see a man cry it respect it I'm on it I respect him more like wow like forever men have been raised and taught that you can't cry crying is weak Mm, no it's not Mm -hmm. it's not at all No. no not able to not feeling confident to express your feelings the right way or the one that's saying you can't cry, well, you're weak. Mm-hmm. 100%. Like, that's really sad. And I wonder, like, but how, it was just how like, is that kid ever going to, like, how do you feel your emotions if you don't feel your emotions? Right. Like, what are you going to, it's just bad. It's all bad. Or, like, maybe saying, like, buddy, like, I'm, you know, right. I, I hate to see you upset. Like, do you want to talk about it? Yeah. Like, you're now not giving him a safe place to be able to talk about it because you're shaming him for being emotional. So he's never going to talk to you if you're like, quit crying, you freaking pussy. Like, again, not his words. I feel like I got to say that. Yeah. But I mean, like to take things and run with it. Right. And like, we also by our no means are gentle parenters, but we treat our kids like humans and they have feelings. So regardless of if that's a fucking gentle parenting BS category or not that's what we do because 
That's it's what works what we're, for us. Yeah. And, and and it's just they're humans. Human. Yeah. It's just we treat them like they're humans. Right. Because we have feelings. So Right. I mean, we're in our thirties and we don't and walk still around don't telling know. people to stop crying because they're right. Weak. <laughs> but also like we still are learning how to navigate our feelings. Yeah. yeah. Because yep. things change in life and and there's always going to be something that you're going to have big feelings about, no matter how old you are. Yep. Yep. That's so There's sad. always going to be feelings that you have to process. It's really sad to me that Anyways, that's still out and there I, like that. It just, even just the way, like, it was like he felt so proud. Right. Uh, like, the dad felt so proud about it. And I'm like, huh, not what I would have said right. on you're just the radio. Raise but, a soulless son who's a dick to every woman he ever dates mm-hmm. and you know, doesn't yeah. understand mental health and bottles everything up and has angry outbursts and probably drinks alcohol a lot. Mm-hmm. So you're welcome. I just pegged your second grader when he's 30. Yeah. Because that's. Unless some miracle happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless he realizes like, screw my dad, I'm going to cry. Yeah. And hopefully, hopefully, yes, there's still time. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. It just, it made me sad because, like, of course, it's the week before our girls started school. Yeah. Our, my oldest and Evie, Jordan's daughter, are in, they're both going into second grade. So I'm like, that's our children. And there's no way in hell I would be like, quit crying. Come on. No. Toughen up. (laughs) Toughen up. You got to go. Yep. You know? Never. Never. I'd. If we had big feelings, we're late. We're just going to be late to school today. Well, let's talk about it. Let's figure this out. Work through it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like that's insane. I just think that sometimes people have too high of expectations of these young children. Yeah. And I understand. Like, there's moments that I have high expectations. I'm like, reel it in. Like, I get it. It's easy yeah. for that to happen. Plus, you just want what's best for, you know, like, I get it to some degree. But I'm also, like, with, like, the feelings yeah. or being, like, extremely extremely hard on them as, like, wearing them down or shaming them. Yeah. So my, my ex-mother-in-law said something to me that like really changed my perspective as parenting. And I can't, I don't know if I've told you this. I probably have. I feel like you have, but I don't know that I could tell you what it is. She, she, you know, if she could tell I was getting a little frustrated with Eve or something, um, she would immediately be like, I mean, not immediately. That's not fair. She never interjected her opinions where they weren't asked, but she said one time, like, she's just acting her age short in. And I was like, God, she's so right. Like, she's just acting like a, like a, I mean, at the time it was probably three or four year old. Like, she's just acting her age, right? Like, so it really humbled me as a parent or like, maybe that's not the word, but really calmed me. Like when it came to being frustrated about when she was acting a certain way or um, it just made me, okay, well, that's. We just have to reroute how we talk about it because it is exactly how they're supposed to be acting at these ages because they are those ages, yeah. right? Like, um, anyways, so that just really always helped me remember, like. I mean, that's so true. Yeah. I don't know. It helped me remember that, like, yeah, they're young. Like, they're seven. They have big feelings that they don't even know how to process, so. Let them fucking cry, man. Quit being a goddamn bully. Right. Anyways, it made me sad. And I was like, I was really, I mean, I'm not as mad about it today as I was that day. Like when I heard it, I was like, man, yeah. like when are people just, I mean, I don't know. Not everybody's going to. No. Nope. So. There's going to be these people around for decades because right. people don't break cycles. Nope. Not everybody, you know. Yeah. So true. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. Well, let's move on to something else. We um, do you want to talk about our new section in our yes. podcast? 
So we decided it would be kind of fun to add a would you rather section to the podcast for another little, I don't know, little section of fun. Yeah. I, know, I already said that, but you And way. how, um, I don't know that we talked about, but how often are we going to do this? Or like, when will we do, so that way Maybe the listener can it. know like, okay, on Tuesdays I need to go on to Running With Scissors social oh, media. Yes. And answer that question, the would you okay. rather question. So, well, I don't know yet. I didn't have a plan for that in my mind yet. But what we okay, could well, do. Okay, well, then stay tuned. Yeah, we'll, stay we'll, tuned. We'll make a yeah, because official what, thing. Because what we're going to do is we are going to ask y'all the question. Yes. You guys answer. Tell us why. Um, and then we'll select a few to read yes. on the podcast. But more importantly, we're going to ask each other yeah. and hopefully get some good giggles out of these things. Yeah. Um, but it kind of came up. I'll tell this anyway. It kind of came up for me because um, I was home in Indiana. One, you know, the trip I talked about a while back. And uh, we were all sitting around like eating s'mores and one of... Uh, my cousins was like, or somebody started talking about would you rathers. And so we just started asking each other and it was just so funny. And just everybody's perspective was so interesting too, because everybody had a why, like, why wouldn't you have done that? Why would you pick that over that? And they were like extreme to some degree. Yeah. So I don't know, it brought up some cool discussions. Yeah. So I'm here anyways, for it. yeah. So our would you rather this week, oh, by the way, I think we should do the would you rather maybe every, at least read the uh, uh, would you rather every episode that we don't do a product. Okay. And Yeah. Okay. So your, our would you rather this episode is, would you rather have a personal theme song that plays whenever you enter a room? Or the ability to make people spontaneously break into dance when you snap your fingers and why? Yeah. Do you want me to read the responses no, first? No, I want you to answer first. We can read our responses later. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so this is tough because um, I'm a diva and I'm BG. So mm -hmm. BG stands for baby girl. Yeah. So I. Which her dad still calls her. Yeah, and anyways. he said he will until the day he dies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm automatically like a theme song, right? Like yes. when I walk in a room, like, but I also am like, I don't always love that kind of center of attention either. Yeah. But on the other side of that, my brain is like, okay, but how fucking funny is it to just snap your fingers and someone has to break out into a dance? Well, you have to pick one. I understand that. Okay. But my question is, is there a restriction on where you, you are fucking ask this <laughs> on where you are like are there limits on okay you know if you're at a funeral you can't snap your fingers and make someone just dance in the middle of a funeral well you have the choice to snap your fingers or not well right <laughs> but like also i think it's just funny like if you are at a serious no, thing yeah, and then you, you snap your fingers yes. and like Okay, well, okay, so here, now we're going to have to put rules on this, okay? Listen, and here's why. Here's my overthinking ass. Yes, no, here's why. <laughs> so we had to make, that night, we got so deep into these would you rathers, we had to make okay. a rule because everybody was like, well, I would want to do that because okay, of this. Okay, I, I would. see. I'm no, you have person. to answer just the answer and then why, okay? But I like, I, I like where you're going, but now answer. This is hard. I know, what's your first... My first instinct was to have a theme song. Okay, then let's just roll with that. Okay. I get that that's hard. We're not actually doing these things, right? So well, let's I not might. panic about... My daughter has a walk-up song for <laughs> softball. Why can't I have a theme song? Well, that's true. But you can pick where you want that to be played, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't just... It's not... A, anyways. Okay. Don't overthink this. This is part of the fun. Do you want to know what my theme song would be? Yes. Oh, God, yes. If you have an idea. Too. I'm a bitch. I'm a um, lover. I'm a child. I don't yes. even know the name. Meredith Brooks. Yes. 
something like that. I'm a bitch. I yeah. think that's what it's called. I think it's just called bitch. Bitch. Way, oh, yep. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Yeah. Either way. Anyways, that would be my theme song. If you're not a millennial and you're younger than us, look that song up because I feel like you wouldn't know it. Yes. Yeah. Anywho. Okay, okay. What about you? I would love to spontaneously break in to dance or ma make people spontaneously break into dance when I snap my fingers. And I'll tell you why. Please tell me. Because I love control. Mm. And I can manipulate an entire room based off of that. And that feels good. That's fair. Okay. But that makes me sound like a psychopath. So I mean, let me just be clear bit, okay. on the fact that I don't just control everything in my life. I learned that lesson very very roughly, yeah, not that long ago. We're supposed Anyways. to be letting go of control. Right, yes, we do. We let go. But this could be a fun way of having control, maybe. For sure. But I would still, maybe, anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm never going to have this. See, this is why. we. Maybe we should start doing this with each other. Like, you know, how we play. Should I carry around my phone so I can theme song your way into every room? Is that no. what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, you can if you want that extra task in life. But I was thinking more along the lines of just snapping our fingers. And who, like, if I snap, you have to break out and dance. Oh. You know? Oh. And then you do it to me, too. Yeah. Okay, well, this is giving me the Bluey episode vibes where they, like, play the dance game. Anyways. I don't know if I've seen that episode. Yeah, it's okay. But it also makes me think of whenever we play... Um, Oh, my gosh. What are the odds? Oh, yes. Like, this could be another game like that. Okay. I like it. I if mean, you haven't played What Are the Odds, it's fun. You got to do it with the right group of people, right, though, right. for sure. Yeah. Should you explain that game? Maybe we can. You yeah. Know, so What Are know. the Odds is if you're with a group of people, you could say, okay, what are the odds that... um. You'll know. go jump into the, that water over there. Yeah, the the lake over yeah. yonder. In your clothes, I don't know, whatever. And so this person, whoever the person is that you're asking, gives like a range of numbers, like 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 50. Like the, more, the more likely that you would do it, the yes. lower the range would be. Right. But if you're like, I'm absolutely not fucking doing that, then you can do like 1 to a million. Right. Or 500 or oh, 100, yeah. whatever. Anyways. And then on the count of three, you both just blurt out a number. And if y'all guess the same number, then that person has to do it. Yeah. And it honestly is crazy how many times you say the same number. Yeah, it is kind of weird, honestly. Mm -hmm. We've, we've, we have carried out what are the odds more times than I have thought we right. would. Yep. And some of them have been quite entertaining. They have. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that kind of kind of makes me think of that. Yeah, no, you're totally right. Okay. Well, anyways, so there's that. Yeah. So be looking for the oh, yes. question. Oh, yeah. And then let's read. Yeah, we got a few responses few ones, that we wanted to read. Which can also make us think a little bit. Because, you know. Yeah. So we, we're going to share one of each side. So the first one is um, have a theme song 100% everyone would expect me and could prepare quickly. I like that. Sure. Because then, okay, your song comes on. Oh, Jordan's showing up or Megan's showing up. Yeah. They're here. But it's not till you enter a room, right? So, like. Well, if it's a big group of people, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they all can't see you. <laughs> so, you so you have to play the well, music. Well, I'm just thinking, so like, walking like, into work, <gasps> you know? <laughs> yes. Like, it's, it's this little room, you yeah, know? Yeah, okay, so, so you're going to walk into work to me with a, with a theme song on. I might. I might do it tomorrow. I, you never yeah, know. But the person who. Or maybe my theme comments, song needs to be coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But this, this person who wrote this, like it just feels right. We're not going to give any names, but sure. love her. And she feels like she would just love a theme song. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next one is um, the br uh, breaking out. A dance, hands down, any chance to avoid confrontational situations. I but, also could relate mm -hmm. to that. See, that's manipulating the situation. For sure. Right? It's controlling the weird moments right. or the awkward or the confrontational moments. Right. For sure. I like that. Thank you. We also love her. Yes. And that's great. 
and not surprised that that nope. was her response. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope. nope. <laughs> Oh, that was fun, though. That was fun. Yes. So, yeah, I I like this. I think it will be fun. We're also still taking funny stories uh, for, for a scissor tail box. Yeah, which we have a few for next week. We do. So, yep. stay, or next episode, not next week. Um, but stay tuned for those. And our product highlight is, you want to tell them? Yeah, it's going to be Mirror Ball. Yes, shampoo and conditioner. Yes, and it is a shine. Yes. So hopefully yeah. we don't blind you with our shininess next Ooh, week. Wear your sunglasses. Ooh, wear them sunglasses, girl. I wear my sunglasses at night. Oh, I was really thinking inside, but it's not inside, it's at night. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Wait, but isn't there a song that uh, yeah. wear your sunglasses inside? Or is it just is that the only song? No, normally we make fun of people that wear their sunglasses inside. <laughs> okay. Wow, you're like, welcome. Like, you know, people that wear masks, too, mm-hmm. while they're driving with mm-hmm. the windows up, and they're the only person <laughs> in the car. <laughs> yes. It's the same thing. Oh, my God. Anywho. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, today was a great episode. Yes, yes. It was so good. And we hope that you all enjoyed it. And thank you for listening. Yes, please review and rate. Subscribe. And subscribe and share follow. and follow. And stalk. Follow. Feel free to stalk What's us. What's that if you song want. from Sister Act? I will follow you. I will follow you wherever you may go. I just don't That's even know. That's great. Yeah. All right. Wow. And That's embarrassing. We just embarrass the fuck out of ourselves. Either way. I don't care because you know what? I'm... Not doing it. I'm only going to do it in front of you. Right. Everybody else is going to listen to it. Right. Everything's fine. Anyways. Have a great day. Yeah, bye. Bye. Thank you for joining. If you like our podcast, leave a review on whatever platform you're listening on. If you're a client, you'll get 20% off your next appointment if you do leave a review. Don't forget to follow on Instagram at Running With Scissors OKC. This podcast is brought to you by Possibilities Podcast Platform.